Fighting Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Dan and Dan chapter 60. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, Kind of surprising, right? <laughs> and I am just a one woman and somewhere around here, one kitty operation struggling to keep a roof over our heads. And praying to the anime and manga gods that year 33 is not going to start off with me and Kitty being homeless and sleeping on the street. My 30s have been horrible enough as it is. Don't need it to be any worse. <laughs> but, but, but. If you love what we're doing, I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, last chapter was fucking everything, because we already went through an orchestra, right? But then, then we went through a choir. The choir nerds got their time. You guys got your time. It was freaking everything. The only thing I was let down about was we didn't get to see what the sharps, the flats, the treble, the bass clefs, we didn't get to see what they did, and that kind of bugged me. Because I wanted to see the sharps, the um, sharps cut shit up. I wanted to see the flats flatten. I wanted to see what the other music symbols did. And that really bugged me. It did. But... I liked everything else about this fight. It was pretty boss, not gonna lie. But anyways, um, and also, I, I like, I love the details of the clarinet that we saw. Oh, my clarinet, my clarinetness was clarinetting. <laughs> Tatsu, I hope you watched my videos. I hope you did, because it really felt like it. <laughs> it's an amazing birthday present for me. Oh my god, it was. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this weekend. We're blown away here. And this chapter is titled, You Can Do It, Okaron! Yeah, you can do it, Okaron! And there they go. Oh, look at the portraits! Look at them! They're gorgeous! Tatsu, you didn't have to go hard like this. Look how beautiful the portraits are. Oh, he could do photorealism beautifully. I thought Okubo could do photorealism, like, gorgeously. Oh my god, if you have not read Fire Force and seen uh, the photorealism chapters, oh my god, you need to go see it. It is so creepy. The, the ones that, um, that Okubo did in Fire Force are so creepy, but they are so good. But god, this is beautiful, beautiful stuff. And there it goes. E. Did we beat them? Yes, you did. Miss Shiratori, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. We somehow beat them thanks to you, Miss Shiratori. Thank you. Oh, that's not true. You were super cool too, Takakura. What the? Come on, where's the usual me? It's my lessons you should thank, huh? Show some gratitude and respect. Yeah, show Grady some respect. Oh, wait, you, uh, you were here. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, wrong person. Oh, wait, you were here? You got as much presence as Ponce got. <laughs> Let's take this outside. Your last farewell is already a done deal. And thanks to you, and thanks to you, Turbo Granny, I feel like I understand that sense of rhythm you were talking about. Thank you. K yeah, well, don't get cocky. Uh, what you've picked up so far ain't worth earwax. My power goes way beyond this. Yeah, I understand that. Basically, what she's saying is you just got the basic rhythm. You got the foundation of her power. Ding. You got the 4-4 four, four rhythm. You haven't gotten to the cut time yet. God damn it, I'm making some music analogies now. <laughs> so what were those guys anyway? Hmm, mere uh, thought forms tulpas. Ooh, everyone's collective uh, fears of the portraits in the music room taken form. I like this, because that's what yokai are. That's what ghosts 
and they and all that shit are. Their thoughts, their um, their fears, their imagination take it form. I like that. If we play the piano at 2 a.m., they'll show up again. If you get killed, you die for real, though. Uh, we'll pass on a second round. Hey, that's good. Now they know. That's where they can go train. Um, anyway, what's with knowing about ghosts and stuff at this school? You weren't up to some scheme here, were you? Hey, it's kind of like the seven mysteries up in uh, um, Jibaku Shonen Hanoka-kun, which I do cover on this channel. And if you are not reading that manga, why? That manga is so good. I love, I love Jibaku Shonen Hanoka-kun. It's one of the best goddamn manga. Well, I am always fantasizing about murdering your asses. <laughs> Let's call the Hayashi performers again. The evil eye is certainly prepared for us as well. Uh, we can't take this any further ourselves. I don't like to think about it, but someone will end up dead. Mr. Gigi, you don't want to end up killing Miss Seiko or Miss Momo, do you? As things stand, Mr. Gigi, you can't live with, uh, with your parents either. Nope. We'll perform the exorcism, exorcism tomorrow. The truth is, I've already arranged for the Hayashi performers. Hey, wait, you can't just decide all this yourself. I'll perform the ritual prayer myself. Say something, Granny. You said we're all family, and Gigi's um, been practicing his spiritual powers. Um, Jinoji. Jin. Ooh, what? Jinoji, get out of here! What? Huh? Ogron? Oh, Grom, what's going on? And where have you two been so late? Miss Shiratori, um... Miss Shiratori, water, here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? No one interfere, please. I'm going to beat the evil eye to a pulp. Oh, Grom, you're pissing me off. This isn't a game. Well, I was pissed off. Super pissed off when you were attacked by the evil eye, Miss Ayase. For a while, I thought we could do something about it, but the evil eye is just too dangerous. He's savage and cunning. He's not the kind of thing we can just leave alone. And yet you're all trying to accept him somehow. It's totally weird and totally badass. Yee. That's what pisses me off, that I'm so weak. Um, Just wait, Gigi. I swear I'll protect your wish to protect the evil eye. Mr. Takakura, calm yourself. We've already decided we'll be exercising Mr. Gigi. You don't need to fight the evil eye. Manjiro. This man's got fire in his words. Don't embarrass him. Here we go, Takakura. Back away, Momo. Okoran, please help the evil eye. You got it. Let's go. <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, this is going to be boss. Dude, hold on. Let me take a moment here to, to admire the GG greatness here. Look at this glory. Look at this shit. And let's be real. This needed to happen anyway because... Remember what's going on with Gigi here. Remember the lore I gave you on the evil eye. Gigi's been penting up all of his emotions up in there. And the evil eye's been getting more powerful because of it, especially since he's got his zen on. And this is something that needs to happen because Gigi is jelly. He is jelly and he is envious of Okaran. He wants Momo. Let's be real. God damn, this is good. Ooh! Okaran! Dude, this is hot. Get it. Oh, dude. I love this manga. Oh, I almost forgot to mention this. But I'll wait till the end. Stay tuned. Oh, no. We are at the end. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to see this right now. I said this when I covered it yesterday. And you could look at the title of the video and you'll know it. I think Aliens um, Area is the next Dandadan. Hands down. I think it's the next Dandadan. And I'd like to see a crossover with it. And I'm telling you right now, Aliens Area, if it doesn't get moved to Jump Plus, it's. I said it in my video yesterday, I, I got a feeling it's going to get chopped. Because I don't think it... I don't think it's going to survive over there. It's That series is meant for Jump Plus. It is not meant for Weekly Shonen Jump. Mm -mm. It's going to be held back. Because the reason why Dan to Dan does so well and why it's so popular is because 
Tatsu has all this freedom to just go balls to the walls, where Weekly Shonen Jump is so constricted. I'm just saying. But if you haven't read Aliens Area yet, go read it. Go watch my video. It's so damn good. I really like, I like it a lot. I'm just worried like it's going to be an Ayashimon situation. I really hope it's not an Ayashimon situation. I really hope not. But anyways, let's get back to the task at hand here. I'm really looking forward to this fight. I am. I'm hoping that this is good. This is going to be very therapeutic for Gigi. It is. This is going to be very, I, I said this um, a while uh, when uh, um, Gigi lashed out or when Evil Eye lashed out at Momo reason why he targeted Momo is because I think the evil eye senses all the pain that obviously fuck obviously the evil eye senses all the fucking pain because especially now that he's in sync with Gigi's emotions and he can sense all the hurt and heartbreak and jealousy and all that shit and he the evil eye targeted Momo for that reason and hell even remember back um uh, in the previous arc, when, um, we, uh, when Momo became in tuned a little bit to, uh, Gigi slash Evil Eye, she sensed that shit, sensed, um, what was going on too. And plus there was that connection with the childhood memories and all that. I'm just saying, it just to me makes the most sense. And Evil Eye don't like that shit. He did not like that Gigi getting hurt. And also the lore and all that shit. But why aren't you mofos just getting him a humsa? I don't understand that either. Because humsas are supposed to be... It's my culture too. I love it. And I love that uh, Gachi Okuda has a humsa. Oh my god, I love that Gachi Okuda is using a humsa right now. Oh my god, it makes me happy. It, it, it help, makes my Juniors happy. It really does. Um, it's what we Jews wear. To, and Arabs do it too, actually. It's a Middle Eastern thing more than anything. So it's, yes, it's Arabs and Jews. We wear hamsas um, to uh, ward off evil eyes. And I don't understand why it's not being used here. Tatsu, you should be getting using a hamsa here. That would make the most sense. I don't understand why it's not being utilized here. It'd be bomb as hell. And also, I look, like to see my culture represented. <laughs> Certain PC pandas would be saying it's cultural appropriation. I love the cultural appreciation that I get to see in a lot of manga. I love seeing my Junus represented. I do. I see it a lot. It's great. And Evil Eye is no exception. Because Evil well, Evil Eye is in a lot of culture, so I can't say it's just specifically for my culture. But I love it. I, I get to sit claim it anyway. <laughs> Let me have it. Um, but anyways, I'm really curious what you guys think of this chapter. What do you guys think about this fight in particular? This is something that needed to happen again anyways. Um, this is just like, a, this is like round what, two? Well, technically round three if you think about it, because the first round was the soccer um, match between uh, Gigi and um, Okarun. And when they kind of addressed that they both had feelings for Momo. Then it was Evil Eye versus Okarun. And then now it's Evil Eye versus Okarun. They're continuing off, you know, where they left off. But I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. What do you guys think of um, the uh, idea of this being therapeutic for both, for, for both of them in all reality? It'll be very, very interesting to see what happens. It will. I wonder, something I wonder though, is if Okarun's going to, I don't know if Okarun's going to be able to get, feel, see what's going on feeling wise. I, I'd like for Momo to see it. Because Momo, I think is, Momo's obviously more in tune with it. Would obviously be more, way more in tune with it. But Okarun, I don't know. I don't know if Okarun going to get see what's going on and, and we'll have a bro moment. I don't know. I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you guys think we'll have like a little bit of a bro moment here? It'll be interesting if we do. I'm not going to lie. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love it, I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kick and suck. keep bringing you more Dan to Dan content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.